Do you have books in your library that you receive from donation or perhaps from a book fair that you would like to add to circulation? If you are not able to purchase the vendor records, you can always go in to Staff Services and add this book by yourself. You will see here OTF. OTF stands for On the Fly. This means that you will add a brief record on the fly and that night the source system will pull down the rest of the records for you. The first thing that you will want to do is search to see if the book is already in your library. You can actually check and see if the book was in anyone's library. And this means that there's less information for you to enter. So if you are able to find the book that you are going to enter into your library, then you will come down here and hit the plus. In here, you will scan the barcode, what library it is, your library, and you will now choose your collection. The most common collections are E for easy, FIC for fiction, and NF for nonfiction. This is a chapter book, so it'll go in the fiction collection. Here, I will put the information that I want to be on the call number. Since this is a fiction book, FIC is my class, and I am cutting the author's last name. If you don't add a price, then the default price will come up as $25, so it's up to you. I know I got this book from the book fair, and it was $10. It is not necessary to fill out the copy, the serial year, the volume, or the ascension, or any of these additional parts. If I have multiple copies of this book, then I will hit save and add another. If I am done, I will hit save and close. Let's enter this nonfiction book called Rats. Let's see if I already have a copy. So I do not have a book in my library called Rats. And I'm looking to see, mm, none of these books that are called rats are the same as the one that I am entering. So now I'm going to hit that I want to add a new title. At this point, I will come down here on the bottom, and in addition to filling out this information in the smaller box, which we just looked at, I will also have to fill out this larger information. I'll put the author's last name. And it is very important that I scan or type in the ISBN. Without the ISBN, the SOAR will not be able to go and connect this to the full mark record or pull up the picture of the jacket. If the ISBN is located on the back, you can just scan it to put it into your book right now. Again, the item ID will be your barcode. You can just scan this to enter. It's going into the professional library. Which collection? So this is nonfiction. Since it's nonfiction, in the class, I'll put the Dewey number for the book and the cutter, the first three letters of the author's last name. I'll put the price, and none of the rest of this information is necessary, but I can add if I want to. I can either save and check this book into OTF, which means I can then check it out to a student, or I can say, no, this book is in transit and I'm going to come back later. Oftentimes, we want to get the book in the student's hand as quick as possible, so now you can see that this book has been entered into the system. Thanks, and let us know if you have any questions on how to add a book on the fly.